Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome back to Resident Evil Or Yes. Uh I went back, I sold the fish, we have no more fish, and we're good to go. Uh but yeah, it lo it does look like the area is basically a endless free just pool of fish. Although you do have to use bullets to get them, but especially if you have TMP, I don't know, maybe you could really, you know, it's a way to get not quite endless money because you will be using your bullets in indeed, but still, a lot of money. It's 750 per fish too. Now see, this would have been a fun little mini game to, to have like to harpoon the fish. I'm honestly a little bummed that that's not a thing. <laughs> like imagine having like ten fish in the lake and you could just like harpoon them like this. Uh, I don't know. Would have been fun. Okay, Le Leon. There you go. The magical boat that turns on a dime if you have a harpoon in hand, but uh, but uh, otherwise it doesn't. Just to be that little extra bit weird. Also, I didn't realize before, but this almost looked like a bit of a cave, but it's just like a shadow. So this is nothing. Actually, it almost looks like the water magically ends right after the bars. So they never rendered the water beyond the bars because you're not supposed to go there yet. It's it's this like it's as if the water ends in like a 90 degree angle right after the bars, you know? It's kind of <laughs> an interesting look. <laughs> Aha! This seems fine. Let's see if I die to this one. It's been a hot minute. It's both simple, but sort of hard. Kinda. Alright. This seems not great. Also, I don't remember if I could have avoided that. I feel like I... I feel like I outsmarted the game's mechanics, weirdly enough. I... think we can just go. Luckily, there's no, um... Real, like, uh... Penalty for dying. Unless you want, like, a good rank, I suppose. But I don't care. But I gotta admit, I'm not exactly sure how I how, how the game would have wanted me to actually get that done right. Because I, I, I feel like it just... Uh, after the hit into the 
debris there. It feels like the game just like forgot to just keep doing its thing, you know? Yeah, can't destroy those. Right, so... So getting hit into the in, into those is unavoidable. That is really weird. I do remember never liking this fight. It was kind of a combination of almost hard, but almost not. But more to the point, it's just like... You... I never felt I could avoid being hit anywhere. Like, yeah, look at that. But, like, I, I, I just feel I'm being robbed of health. And I, I think that means that this boss is unbeatable if you're not stocked up on health I items, right? Like, like, you would have to buy a first aid spray from the merchant if you uh, are out of the stuff. And even then, if you're hurt, you need to buy the first aid spray, use it, then buy another one. Because I think he sells one every time you don't have anything. As in terms of health I items. Because from this, I'm gathering that you cannot avoid being hit. And that's really bad game design, honestly. I, I, I do remember that this is, like, the black mark of this game, really. Like, it, it's a bad, bad, bad boss fight. That one is probably avoidable. It's just the game didn't feel like recognizing that I hit the boss, you know? Right. <clears throat> there is an interesting, uh, uh, probably, uh, some sort of a... Oh, actually, I should probably remember to take this anyway, so I might as... That's actually a good thing that I came back here, because one herb is one herb. Save the game here. Uh, but yeah, so... There's an interesting thing I've noticed that there's a really good chance I start hating a game the moment I stream it. <laughs> because at that point, all of a sudden, everything goes wrong. I play worse as well, but the game also screws me over in ways that it never otherwise does. Because I don't remember this fight being as BS as it is right now. Like, that I can't avoid being hit all the time. Like... My memory suggests that throwing the spear into the boss should 
like, turn it away from hitting me, at least when it's coming toward the boat. And now it doesn't. And this is not unprofessional, so what what's going on? That is really weird. Like, it's not supposed to be like that, I think. And, and, and it's just, like, robbing me of endless amounts of, uh... Healing items, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of miffed about it. Like again, that that part might actually be unavoidable. Like you can't avoid getting hit by those debris. That's that's just the game being a bad, bad boss fight, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like this, like, like doing this. Hold on. Yeah. We might need to Google some walkthrough stuff on this one. Resident Evil 4, how to beat Del Lago. Nope, that's the wrong Resident Evil 4. Again, I don't want the remake. Well, I'm basically doing the right, the exactly right things. So that the, it's just that the game is bad here. Like you just need to keep hitting him or it or whatever, and that should sometimes help in you not getting hit when he's charging you. But sometimes it just doesn't doesn't work.
I can try and throw these here. Doesn't do much, but... What you gonna... Okay, so yeah, I have some movement ability, but not much. Also, you can't pause the game or move out of the game when uh, it uh, goes into the quick time event thing. That is, again, there's like levels of stupid in this boss fight that are kind of hard to fully uh, accept here. In many other ways, this game is ahead of its time, but this bo this boss fight is like 30 years behind its time, even back then. Like, it's basically behind Pac-Man, it's so bad. So, so, oh, g g game! That that made no sense. Like, it's it's just throwing the camera all around. It's this is just this, this is embarrassing. as an embarrassingly bad game design rather and 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 again there's no no uh, avoiding that either and again mashing button because mashing the button is the way to do video game like uh, embarrassing and again like, the utterly bonkers camera angles are just bad. Two and a half hours I've done today. Like, if I keep at it, I'll eventually get it, especially if I just keep on doing the, uh...
Like, if, if I keep using the health items, like, obviously it'll eventually just happen because you do en enough damage to it, but... Oh man, it's such an... Like, I feel like I've managed to do, a, like, a decent run so far. And then the game just becomes bad. It's quite something. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like thinking options. What I could do is either waste all of my health items here, or grind for more fish to use those as health items in this fight, and then just move on and never, never uh, acknowledge this fight as a thing ever again, or go back to the village and grind the chickens to do chicken eggs. and use those as the health items. That's also an equally decently fine option. Because I really don't want to waste the healing items here and then have nothing when actual normal zombie fighting continues. There's basically that that that's like the I don't know what to call it. It's it's like a river area with a bunch of vaguely industrial type equipment there. I think I also remember that the there's going to be like a time skip when I reach there eventually. I'm thinking the eggs might be the solution. I'll just maybe discard or sell the rest when the, that I don't use when I uh, when I do the fight. Just because basically, like, shooting the fish, you know, it it ends up being costly for the bullets. Like, that is definitely worth keeping in mind. I keep thinking one of them is a big one, but I it probably isn't.
yeah, I think we might be done for the day. This is bullshit boss, bad game design. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, remember, don't play Resident Evil 4. It has a terrible lake boss that r r ruins the game. Have a good one. Bye.